I've got another cool JSON sample to show you. In my case, I've got an issue tracker list and I want to be able to quickly grab these different issues, assign them to myself. My coworkers can do the same thing. It, it involves one single click and not having to edit the list item, type out our names, all of that mess, cut it all out. It's a really fun hack, so let's just jump straight into it. So like I said, I've got my issue tracker field. Uh, we've got, you know, description, status, that kind of thing. Here's what we're gonna be focusing on, the assigned to column. So we're gonna need to uh, uh, add some JSON formatting to this so that we can click one button and assign it to ourselves. So the first thing we're gonna need to, get to do is go into column settings and format this column. Jump straight to advanced mode because that's where we need to be. Now we're gonna go over to this sample and there's a few different ones we're gonna grab. Here's what I wanna do first. I wanna do the uh, assign to me single.json. We'll click this copy raw file button. That'll copy our JSON and we'll paste it straight into here. Now there's one change we'll have to make and that is the getting the internal name of the column. We need to grab that. So what we're going to do is cancel this, go to the list settings because we need the internal name. Here's, here's the most reliable way to get that. You click on the field that you want to check into and look at what the uh, the last part of this URL is. You'll see field equals, and then in my case, it's assigned to zero. So in this case, that's the internal name. Um, assigned to was already taken by the system, so it added a zero to the end of this. So we'll need a, so we'll need assigned to zero. We'll go back to the issue tracker. We'll go and format this. And then we'll change this to assigned to zero. Oh, and by the way, if you're not familiar or you're not that comfortable with understanding what all of this mess is, all this JSON, I've got an online course for you. It will talk you through the entire process from beginning to end, understanding what JSON even is, how it's used to do formatting, and what all of these different things are. My students have been thrilled with this course, and I just added some, some more lessons to it recently. So all, all my past students have gotten all this lessons for free you could jump in today and get started mastering this stuff but let's just see how this thing looks right now so let's close this and go back to the beginning of this list so we've got as this field here assigned to me is what it says and if i click on this my stuff pops right in there it's that simple and i recently updated my profile picture in here so that it hasn't been um, it hasn't been updated inside this list yet but when you do this, you'll be able to see your photo pop up in here as well. So one click and I can just assign these things. It's that simple. One click. I don't know why we haven't had this feature before. And the person who thought of this was Tetsuya Kawahara, uh, a friend of mine and a fellow MVP who creates a ton of these JSON samples. You've, you've seen me cover a few of his already in the past. He's really, he's really, really sharp with this stuff as well. So thank you Tetsuya for this. This was awesome. Uh, but there's a lot more we can do with this. There's other versions of this that are really neat. So let's adapt this. Uh, to one of the other ones. So there's a highlight one here as well. Let's copy this one and see how this looks. Because all of these will build on each other, really. So if we go back to formatting, we copy this new one in, change that field. Now the assigned to is highlighted. So that is, so it makes it stand out a lot more. But where this is really going to be valuable is when we change this to a multi select field. So let's edit this and we'll allow multiple selections. Now we don't have anybody else in here right now, but we can fix that. Let's, um, we'll just do an, a manual edit here and I'll add in some more people. So 
So we've got more people in here, but it's not showing up correctly. And that's because we aren't using the multiple uh, version or the multi-select version of this. So there is a, a non-highlight version, but I really like the highlight. So we'll do the highlight and multi. We'll copy this. Go back into our formatting. And then, like before, adjust this so our field is set. And now look at what we've got. So now it's showing all of the users who are assigned this particular issue. My name pops straight out at me because of the highlighting. So I can quickly see, without, without even having to filter this list, really, I could just quickly glance down, scroll down, and see which ones are assigned to me so that I can focus on just the ones that I need to. What a brilliant solution. Very simple, but really nice looking. It's, it's really awesome. Now, the URL for this uh, sample is in the description below. You'll see all four versions here. You'll see a animation of kind of how this thing works in, in all the configurations at once. Any other notes that you need to know to implement this, like changing that one field that we had to change and uh, any view requirements, which in this case, all you need is a person column. That's it. There's nothing special that, uh, other than that that you need, but you'll also see any uh, updates to this. So uh, this was recently updated. In fact, it was yesterday that he updated this. And yesterday's update actually had the highlight, uh, the highlight samples in here. So really awesome sample. Try this thing out in your environment. Let me know in the comments what you think about this uh, and what you think about these JSON samples. They've been very, very popular on my channel. It's really fun to, to see what other things you can do with JSON formatting. And it's incredibly fun to show you how, what you can do with this because it doesn't take any actual development. You don't need to use TypeScript, JavaScript. You're not you're using Power Platform. You don't need to learn Power Apps. And you can create very nice, visually rich solutions right embedded in SharePoint. So it's, uh, it's really, really cool. If you want to see another JSON sample, click up into this video where I've got another one that's awesome. I've got a whole playlist of these things. So check out my playlist to see all the other samples that I've got. I'm just going to keep cranking these things out since y'all are loving it. I'll see you on the next one.